Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Erin, and for today's video, I'm going to be making some fleece liners for my ferret cage. So we have five ferrets. Yes, that's right, five. We have Jinx, Coco, Wally, Penelope, and Henry. Those are our five ferrets. And not gonna lie, they can get a little messy. They are, for the most part, litter box train, but sometimes they have accidents. So what's in their cage right now are these plastic pans. And in order to make it a little bit more comfortable and a little bit less messy, I decided that I was going to cover them in fleece. I had seen some people on TikTok who have these on their cage or in their cage. So I went on Etsy to go look for some for myself. And when I saw the price, I was like, ooh, I could probably just make this myself and save me about $100 because they're pretty pricey online, which I get, don't get me wrong, I'm not complaining about the price, but I just figured maybe I could do it myself and save myself a couple bucks. If you watched my last video, I did my haul from Joanne Fabric and Crafts, and I did get a pretty steep discount on the fleece that I got. I ended up paying $3.95 for the Sea Creature one, which you'll see in a minute, and $4.95 for the Space Monster one. And that price is obviously per yard. So it ended up being about 18 bucks in yardage for each because I had to get five yards of the Sea Creature one even though I needed like about four. And then I ended up getting four for the Space Monster one. So I will pop in the measurements that I found online here. We have what is the equivalent of a Ferret Nation cage. I did measure to be sure that these were the exact same measurements, and they are, but our cage actually came from PetSmart. I don't remember what their brand thing was for this specific cage, but it was not Ferret Nation. So my first step is going to be to trace out the trays themselves. Now I'm going to go a little bit bigger with the tracing around the trays just because they're going to need to be a little bit bigger because I want the trays to go inside. Um, but yeah, let's trace these out and see what we can get. So here we have the sea creature fleece. Now I'm going to want to turn this inside out so I can trace on it. Also, you're going to want to um, wash and dry your fabric before you do this because if you wash it, it will probably shrink. Like I said, you're also gonna wanna go a little bit bigger than the actual pan. Excuse any crumbs you see or staining on these pans. They're pretty old and I did clean their cage yesterday, but they're messy, so there's that. So like I said, I kinda wanna put a lip on this so that I can kinda tuck it under so they won't be able to get in. And the opening is going to be on that end so I can just sew this all shut because it's going to be easier to put a lip on that end now that I'm thinking about it. So I'm just going to move this up. And I'm just doing a rough tracing here. And I know people are probably horrified I'm using a Sharpie, but honestly this is for our ferret cage so I'm not really too worried about it. I'm going about probably an inch or so past the pan. I don't know how much of that you can see or not see. Just so I have room to screw up what I'm sewing, because I will screw up. And then like I said, since I do want this lip, I'm just gonna take that all the way to the end there. Now what I'm gonna go ahead and do while I'm thinking of it. See, if this is why I need a craft room because I really don't have enough room to do stuff. I'm gonna go ahead and pin this right now. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead I'm gonna cut here so I have less fabric to work with as far as getting this out. And then I'm going to go ahead and cut out the pattern part. I did cheat and I'm using the edge here because I can do that. Uh, another helpful hint, if you have scissors and you're using them specifically for fabric, that's grand. Just use them for fabric. I have these dull ones that I'm going to be using, so you'll probably see me struggle.
have our first piece done. Okay, so you can probably hear my dogs eating in the background, so enjoy that ASMR for a little bit. So for this particular tray, I need two. So I'm going to do one and then cut the other because these are the same size. And again, I want a lip on it. But for this one, I think I'm going to put the lip over there because that's what makes most sense to me. So again, I'm going to mortify some people and use my Sharpie and do a rough tracing job here. And honestly, I'm just going to go to the edge with that. And that's pretty much all I'm going to need to do with this one because I left enough over there. So. Let me pin. I'm gonna do the same thing with this one. This piece is done. Okay, so here's the last piece. I already started stenciling this because I thought I was recording, and I wasn't. So this is going to be the last piece that needs to be stenciled in. Again, my opening is going to be on that end. So this is the last piece and I have um, over a yard left for sure, which I expected because I only needed like three and a half, four yards to do this. So I'll figure something out to do with that. But next step is going to be to sew these. Okay, so fair warning. This is old trusty here. It is... This sewing machine has to be, I think I got it when I was maybe 20, maybe 21, because I was making dog clothes of all things, and I am about to turn 36, so that's how old this sewing machine is. She has seen better days, her foot likes to fall off, so we'll see how far I get with this. There may be some cursing involved, but... I mean, for the most part, the machine gets the job done. I already have it threaded. That's simple enough. And this is like a really simple machine. You don't have to have something terribly fancy to do something like this. This is a Brother XR65. I don't even know if they make that anymore. I know that all of the new ones come with like digital whatever. I have digital nothing on this. But let's see how she goes. Important thing with sewing that I've seen a lot of people make a mistake with. You want to make sure that you're sewing inside out because you want the seams on the inside. So that's why I pinned this the way that I did. Now this is the opening side, so I'm not going to start there because I kind of want to put like a fancy edge on that. So I will start here. broke my needle. I'm gonna try not to do that again. So I'm literally gonna go over where I messed up in the first place here. 
and that should be okay to keep everything else intact, hopefully. Never a dull day when you're sewing with me. That's all I have to say. So I have this sewn. I do want to put like an edge around here so this looks a little bit nicer. So I'm going to take this off of here. flip this around and then I'm not so sure I want to get fancy with this but I have different designs I can do here so I think I'm gonna do this one here that's like a I don't really know how to explain it have to go pick up my sushi. I will be back to finish this. Okay, so I'm back from my sushi break. And now I'm gonna finish sewing these. So, I'm gonna go ahead and sew all these pieces together and then I'll show you the end result. Enjoy me in high speed. pieces are sewn together and what you didn't see off camera was my giant fight with my sewing machine which is a different story for a different day but at least it wasn't you know on camera so I will show you what these look like in the cage now okay so here is the finished product I'm really pleased with how they turned out. It's definitely much more cozy in there for them, I'm sure. They're not in there right now, they're in our room, hanging out. I am going to go grab them though, and put them in here and see what they think. So, so far, three of the five approve. The big one there is Henry. One with the bald tail, that's Penelope. And that guy there is Wally. Jinx and Coco are old, so they get medication before going to bed. But so far, they seem to enjoy it. Right now, they're looking for treats. Uh, they already got their treats. So, we'll see how well this works out. So clearly didn't show you the other set. I'm gonna have to wait and make that next weekend because it's like almost 11 o'clock at night here now because of that fight with my uh, sewing machine. This is Molly. You know, because of that fight with my sewing machine, it definitely 
it took me a lot longer than I had anticipated. <laughs> Give me Molly. Let's get her out of the way. But that is it for this video, guys. If you liked it, please give me a big old thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like this one, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below. And I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye!